as a new agent, how did I take 10 listings a month, month after month after month? So I'll share with you a story and it might surprise you how, uh, how we got there. So I was early on in, in, in real estate, by the way, if, uh, if this resonates with you, like, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff you're supposed to do. Yet, let's go all the way back. So this is back before I became a coach, before I became a third editor for Realtor Magazine, before I built big teams, all, the, all that kind of stuff. This is going way back. And uh, I was young, I was early on in real estate, and I was not doing great. Like it was like my first year in real estate and I was not just like knocking out of the sock, right out of the park. I thought that I was gonna need to get out of real estate. That's where I was. And I remember the day I was yeah, right newly married. We had, we had a son and I was not getting out of real estate to, to pay the bills and, and be the dad that I wanted to be. Right, unlike the story that I thought it was gonna be, you just get in and show houses, everything's amazing. So it's, it's, it's back in the day, right? My, my oldest, my son is 16 now, so he was maybe what, one, one and a half back then. And I remember the house. So I was at this open house and I was on the back deck and everyone else is 16, everyone else is doing better than me. And I'm on this back deck and I'm ready to throw it in. I'm like, this is, this is it, I, I'm, I can't do this. Everyone else must be better at this than me. So I called my, uh, my team leader at the time, who was kind of, kind of my coach and mentor. And I told him, I said, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm ready to get out. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. And he looked, he, well, I'm on the phone, but I, I could feel his eyes piercing, right? And he said, if I show you how, if I tell you what to do, will you commit to taking 10 listings a month for the next several months? Taking 10 listings a month for the next several months. And I was like, I, I'm, I'm, I want to, but I have no idea what to do. What would I even do? And he goes, no, I need you to commit first. And he goes, it's, it's gonna be 10 listings a month, and for every listing you don't get, so if you come up short, so if it's like nine instead of 10, for every one you come up short, it's $1,000. Right, you owe $1,000 to some, some organization you don't support. And I'm going, like, I don't have $1,000. Like, I don't know who, where you're gonna get it from. He goes, but I need you to commit. I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you what to do. And I was like, all right, last ditch effort, right? Like, well, it was the Hail Mary pass of all Hail Mary passes. And I go, all right, I'm in, I'll, I'll do it. And uh, he goes, okay, cool. So, so come in and, and we'll talk about what you're gonna do. And I was like, awesome, like game on. So I get in there, pen, pa paper, ready to go. And I was like, what do I do? And, uh, and he goes, uh, I don't care what you do. I was like, cool, that's awesome. But like, what do I do? What do I actually, what do I do to go get the 10 listings? And he, and he said one of the things that has stayed with me forever. And he said, it all works if you work it. It all works if you work it. And I said, what do you mean by that? And he goes, it all, it all works. Open houses work, door knocking works, right? Google ads work, everything works, networking groups. It all works if you work it. He goes, choose a handful of those things, I don't care what they are, choose a couple and go nail them. And somehow that resonated with me and I went out and just started doing the work, right? I, 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 here's, here's why I think it helped me so much. And if you're like me, let me know if this resonates with you. I was look I think I was looking for the magic pill. I think I was looking for like the one thing, right? Like what was the what was the one thing that was gonna make it all happen? It was it was it this kind of ad or running things this like what was the thing that was gonna make all the difference? And what helped me realize is there wasn't one thing. The one thing, if, if there is a one thing, is to choose the two or three things you're gonna go be best in the world at. And I remember there were a couple months where uh, I was about to put my house on the market, <laughs> so I had 10 listings. And yet my mentality changed and I did literally just whatever it took. I chose my two or three main things to go nail and I did those over and over and over. I would door knock. One of the things I realized was uh, for every 75 doors I knocked on, I would get a piece of business. So like, okay, I, I can knock on, on this many doors a week and get this many pieces of business. I, I did it enough to know that I could get a return on it. Um, so I did door knocking. The other thing that I did was uh, I took care of a handful of businesses. There was like 30 different businesses that I would go to every single week, say hi, drop off cookies, make an introduction, right? See if they need anything. Um, and, and I would do that every single week. And then the other one was um, I would I built, took care of my database. I took care of my sphere of influence. And those were the three things that allowed me to eventually have wins. Those are some of the reasons why, especially my dad was one of the reasons I was able to sell my business years down the road. And yet, if you're like me and you're struggling for like, what's the magic pill? What's the one thing that's gonna help me get my business? Um, I'll tell you what my coach told me. It all works if you work it. Choose your two or three and then go now. Now, if you need help with those, reach out to me. I'd love to help you get clear on what those are. There's a formula that I can walk through to help you get clear on what your three or two or three are gonna be. Uh, you go to pick Wayne's brain 
pickwaynesbrain.com, pickwaynesbrain.com, and schedule a strategy session with me. I'd love to work you through it. And, and here's why I would love to help you with that, because I, prior to that moment, I spent so much time struggling with what should I do, what should I do, right? And, and I see so many people now, especially real estate agents, they're chasing, you know, 15 or 20 different things instead of narrowing it down to, to the handful that are gonna serve them really, really well. And I have a couple questions that I'll ask you and we can go through that and help, help dial it in. Um, yet, I hope that, that story helps you as much as it helped me at that moment. Like, subscribe, reach out if you need help. BigWayne'sBrain.com. Appreciate it, my friends. Go get it.